whenever. Hello, another gun that I'll be putting up for uh, auction on Gunbroker is this Danish rowing block. It is a uh, Danish manufactured gun under license from the Remington Corporation in uh, America. Uh, the Remingtons uh, on this side of the pond were in 4570. The Danish round is slightly different. Uh, it's uh, a 11.7 by 51 uh, R round. So the bullet is just slightly larger in diameter and the cartridge is slightly shorter. Uh, some people do try to fire 4570 in these guns. It's not a good idea. But the ammunition for these guns is uh, readily available. Uh, and again, it's a black uh, powder round. The, these guns uh, were retired uh, by the Danish government after they received the Craig in the uh, 1890s. Uh, this particular gun um, is in pretty good shape uh, mechanically. The wood uh, has quite a few uh, dings, gouges, uh, no cracks that uh, I can see. Uh, but again, it's, uh, it does have uh, definite use to the wood. The metal's in pretty good shape. Uh, the, um, there's a patina uh, all over uh, the uh, metal of the gun. Uh, the barrel has some bluing left. And the barrel's in pretty good shape just forward of the rear barrel band on the left-hand side is a little bit of scratching. The interior of the barrel is in really good shape. The rifling is uh, nice and sharp and the interior of the barrel is bright. The uh, chamber is in really good shape. No rust, no pitting. So this gun, again, after inspection, uh, I see no reason why this gun cannot be, uh, be used. Again, be sure to get the proper uh, ammunition though for the gun. Uh, the carry strap came with the gun. I'm not sure if it's original. It, it looks like it could be. Uh, the gun only has one serial number here on the left hand side. It has the Danish stampings. Uh, it's uh, M1867. It has the Danish crown on the receiver, on the trigger, on the wood in several different places. It has the Danish markings. Uh, here on the back it uh, mentions that it's the Kobenshavens Tohus or Toyhus and that uh, it says I believe a date of 1885 or 1883. It has the uh, brass insert on the uh, butt plate on the right side which I believe used to have a unit marking if I'm uh, not mistaken but I can't read anything there at the moment. Anyways I'll be uh, putting this gun up on uh, Gun Broker and uh, if you're uh, looking for one to add to your collection it's a pretty good example, as I say, the metal's in good shape, the wood. It has a beautiful uh, deep-toned finish to it, but it does have, uh, you know, quite a few dings, scratches, and, and gouges. Um, so, again, happy bidding.